before we get started, the first quote that I want to read to you is Napoleon Hill. Okay? And then Napoleon Hill says, the starting point of all achievement is desire. Okay? Keep this constantly in mind because weak desire brings about what? Weak results. Just like a small fire makes a small amount of heat. Okay? And I want to start with this because the first thing in the eight steps to success is dream building. What kind of life do you want to live? What kind of balanced life do you want? Where do you want to live? What kind of car do you want to drive? How do you want to be able to spend your free time? How do you want to accomplish these things? Okay. And in this, I want you to picture yourself in a movie. You are the main character. Okay. You are the director. Whoever it is that you want to be, picture that in your head. How do you want that to come about? Because that's very crucial in you becoming successful in this business. So if you look at the PowerPoint here, it states that in order for you to achieve your dreams, you must first desire it. Do you want to become successful? Do you want freedom of choice? Earlier we heard the speakers speak about freedom is not just me going away somewhere, but the ability to choose who I can help, ability to choose what I want to do. And in order for you to be able to do that, you also have to have financial independence, right? So close your eyes for one second, okay? Imagine where you want to live. Okay? What kind of house do you want? What kind of life do you want for your children? What do you want to give to them? And that has to be real. It has to be something that you truly desire to attain. Okay? So open your eyes. And now we have to start setting goals to get to that point. Right? Every single day we have to choose to step closer to that goal. Let's, let's talk about this auditorium. Okay? This was not here before it was built. right? But before somebody wanted to build this, it came out of somebody's imagination. Right? The architect dreamed, right? He envisioned this auditorium. He wanted this kind of auditorium with these kinds of seats in this location. That's exactly what I'm saying today. What kind of life, what story, what movie do you want to draw out? And in order for you to do that, you have to first plan in your head, write it on paper, and you have to follow through to accomplish those things. So that's what we want to talk about. And the second thing that I want to emphasize is commitment to change, committing yourself. The first point that we're talking about is be proactive about choices that you make. Okay. It, uh, CEO Park says this, he says, you are the main character. You are the ones making the choices. So if you decide that you want to do this business, then you are choosing to have the mental attitude to continue forward. So don't listen to people around you who say, oh, that's not possible. Or we heard the testimonies today, right? How much can you possibly make from just selling toothbrushes and toothpaste, right? But you have to be the one in control of that situation. You have to educate yourself and tell them, no, no, it is possible. Why? Because of this, this, and this. And you lead these individuals to become a part of the system. And you educate them with the knowledge that you obtain from the Atomy system. The second one that we're speaking about is what? Be positive about every situation that you encounter. So if you look at this, it's talking about your mental attitude. I love this quote. There's a quote that states, everybody faces defeat. Everybody faces failure. But that can become a stepping stone or a stumbling block depending on the mental attitude in which you face that situation. So number two is very important because if you are positive and optimistic about each circumstance that you choose to what react to then what it is that you're doing is you're leading the situation so for example let's say that you spoke to a friend right you spoke to a partner and you said hey do you want to sign up do you want to try this product let me introduce you to a sunscreen or let me introduce you to x and y but they say no i don't want to try that you use that by yourself 
Okay? So if you are thinking about that situation in a negative light, then what happens to you? You start getting drained. You're saying, oh man, I thought it was going to work, but I was wrong, right? But if you are positive about this situation and you think, no, okay, but if you understand that three no's turns into a yes, if you are persistent, then do you lose energy or are you happy that you only have two more no's to go? Exactly. You only have two more now. So you go again and you get rejected again. But what? How many more do you have left now? One more. Even though you're receiving the same no, it's different upon how your mental attitude is toward that situation. You guys understand what I'm saying, right? So this is very, very important. And the way that we can continue to make sure that we're going on that path is number three. Be determined determined to change every single day we have to choose what we want to do I need to put I need to be determined to put that into action just speaking just understanding does not bring about success it is what you choose to do with the information that you have that will bring about success in everything that you do whether it's a diet, whether it's becoming an auto sales master, whatever it may be, learning a new language, you must choose to change the habit that you, pri that you had prior to new habits that will bring you closer, that will give you a piece of the puzzle that you are putting together to bring you to success. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's what I want from you all. I want you guys to set the dreams, build your dreams, Set your goals for each and every day. How many people am I going to meet today? How many people am I going to introduce this product to? What am I going to do today that's going to bring me closer to that dream of a balanced life? Because without being determined, without willing to give up something to gain something, you will not get there. I understood the faster... I gave this information to other people, the faster my network would grow and the faster my dream would become reality. So I pushed forward and I started to attend the Atomy seminars. I started to educate myself, but not just alone, right? But with people around us. But you guys should be very, very grateful for the absolute price and absolute quality that Atomy has to offer for you. Because this means that everybody can become successful. And let me tell you why. Lots of different companies, you have to become educated in the product. You have to understand what's inside of the product, how it functions, why it is what it is. Usually products are very expensive. So you have to explain to them why this price is reasonable. But anatomy, that's not what we teach. We don't have specific product lectures we don't teach individuals well this toothbrush is this and this and this and this toothpaste is this and this and this no what do we say we ask you to try it experience the product and share your experience with individuals around you because the product itself will speak for itself that's where the power lies. So that means that an average Joe who's not able to explain the system, who's not able to give a product lecture, will still be able to build their business because all they have to do is what? Try it and share their experience. They don't have to have a 10-page PowerPoint explaining this, 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 and this, and why you have to do it. All they have to do is trust you and your experience because we're not here trying to sell them something. We're here sharing the good news with them and telling them how this can improve their current situation. So this is the most important part, being determined and being willing to change. What you must ask yourself today, okay? What are you willing to give up today to gain that part of the puzzle? How much desire do you really have inside of you how much of that is burning white hot fire that you will be willing to change the different things that you have to obtain that, okay? The next thing that we want to talk about is creating a list, okay? What does this mean? 
In a lot of different companies, we would call this prospecting, right? And we would want to divide this group into individuals who are willing to do the business and individuals who would probably not be so happy if you came to them with a network marketing plan, right? But that's not what Adamy says. Adamy says, make a list of every single individual that you know. Because out of all the products that we have, they will, they are consuming something from somewhere else. But I promise you that we'll be able to introduce at least one product to them that will save them money. So don't limit yourself. Don't prejudge your list of individuals that you know this person not willing to do the business this person will only like the skincare this person will never like the hemorrhoid because of the taste don't prejudge people in your group okay so make that list and what you want to do is you want to meet these individuals and you want to share the vision this list needs to continue to grow a lot of people limit themselves because they think that after they make the list that's the end. But that's not true. Every day you go somewhere. Let's say that you ride the bus and commute every single morning. And there just happens to be another gentleman who sits right across from you every single morning. You don't know that gentleman's name, right? But you can add that individual to your list. The gentleman that I ride the bus with every morning. That's his name. Okay? Okay. Say, let's say that you have a neighbor who walks their dog, right? You, you're at the park and you see a lady walking their dog every night at 7 o'clock. You don't know their name, but it doesn't matter. Why? Why? You can say, the lady who walks her dog every night at 7. And you have done what now to your list? You have added to your list. And then what do you do? You use the last part. You use the three-meter rule. Okay? What do you think the three-meter rule means? It means speak to everybody around you and share that vision with them who is in three meters distance. Why? Why do you do this? Because you really, it's not about money. I want you guys all to get past me making money. Okay? That needs to go, it needs to go beyond that. It needs to go to the point of, I want to share my experience with this person here because it has helped me Right? Atomy Products has helped me physically. My health has gotten better. And it's reasonable enough for anybody to use it. So that's what you're doing. You're sharing your experience with them. You're helping them by sharing the product with them and helping them save money. But at the same time, you are building your consumer base. But if you're going to them only with the hopes of them trying to buy something, you, you're just trying to sell something to them. It doesn't work like that, right? Because they'll start to question, why, 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 why is this stranger sitting next to me trying to sell me something, right? But if you talk about your experience, and if they feel and they hear your genuine desire to help them, then they'll start to listen. Because they'll see that they are more than just a consumer to you. It's somebody that you want to help. So think about that three meter rule now, okay? So wherever you go, whoever you see, share that vision with them. And the person that you don't know, you don't know their name, it's okay. Just write down whatever situation will help you remember who they are, okay? Inviting, okay? But I change it to sharing, okay? Sharing the good news. Because we're inviting individuals, yes, but why are we inviting them? Why did individuals invite you here today? Why did your upline invite you here today? They didn't get any money from you coming, right? When we register somebody in Atomy, do we get paid? No. We don't gain anything. And usually when we sell products, is there a big margin that we make from the products being sold? No. So what is it that we're doing? We're sharing the good news. We're sharing the good news about the product, right? We want them to hear about the marketing plan. We want them to understand the vision.
That's what we're doing. We want to share our experience with individuals around us. The two most important things for everybody to understand, I believe, is one, trust the product. Or two, trust the company. Or both. If you have both of those things, then it is inevitable that you will become successful. So out of all the products that we have, your goal should be to try every single one of the products until you find the one. That product that you are so confident about, you can tell anybody around you, and no matter what they say, you will be positive about that product. Whether it's the toothbrush, whether it's the essence, whether it's the foam cleanser, whatever it may be, find one. Because that one product will open the door for you to share the vision with individuals around you. And then the second part was the company that I'm speaking about, right? In Atomy, it's very different. Atomy, their goal is razor sharp management. So their goal is low cost. So what they're trying to do, they are a distribution hub. So they want to find the highest qualities out on the market that's being distributed to you right now. And they want to bring that product to Atomy and provide it for an even more reasonable price to you. So that is the goal for Atomy. And if you believe in that, that company motto, that company belief, then you can share that with them then. The toothpaste, when we first started, was 180 grams. But we increased the product to 200 grams. But we kept the price the same. Same thing with the deep cleanser and foam cleanser and so on. So that's the kind of company Atomy is. Even though we're doing very well, even though we're renewing the design, we are continuing to promise the same price to everybody here today. So if you think that that is something that is very valuable to you or to other individuals that are around you, then that's what you share. You say, this is a company that can be trusted because of their actions, not because of just words being spoken, but because of the actions that they are taking to stay within the principles that they are preaching. So that's very important, right? And then after inviting and sharing, what are we going to do? We're going to show the plan. And in showing the plan, this is the most important part, right? So if you look at here, it says, first, company information, second, product compensation. And we're going to be speaking about these things to the individuals that we meet. But the best way to speak to individuals around you will be to invite them to seminars like this today. Because there's just so much information and there's so many things that they can hear from other people that will maybe move them and show them the vision, right? And let's say that you're not very good at speaking. Then what can you do? You can utilize the VODs. You can say, listen, I want to share this with you, but I'm not very good at explaining it yet. So let's sit down for an hour. I'll turn the VOD on with you and let's write down some questions that we may have and let's just listen to this. So what's Atomy doing? Atomy is giving everybody the same opportunities to succeed. And in this, we want to be able to focus on all the points. So in the company, right, our vision is to distribute all the products that we can to every individual around us at the lowest possible price. And that's where our products come in. And then our compensation plan, we are able to succeed in Atomy because we have a unlimited opportunity for growth. What does that mean? That means that individuals that just you register, it doesn't end there. The person that you register, if they register in a different country, through somebody else, as long as they are a part of your group, you get how many percent? A hundred percent of their PV accumulates in your group. So earlier today, we spoke about Singapore. 
we said that Singapore is not very big, right? But what do we say? It can become the center of the world. If you look at the growth in Korea and you look at the growth in Taiwan, it's incredible. Within a year and a half already, there are individuals earning more than $20,000 a month. And it hasn't even been two years yet. But that wasn't possible in Korea. But now it's becoming possible. Why is that? Because people are starting to understand and respect Atomy. They see that this is real. We're not just saying things here and there, but there's actual growth and there's things that they can actually see. And then the products are actually of value. So now it's becoming a brand name. The other day I went to the mall and I asked them, do you know Atomy? And they said, oh no, I've never heard of Atomy. But I showed them the logo and she said, I've seen this logo. I heard that this product was good, but I didn't know the name. But I know the logo. So what's that mean for you? That means that the opportunity for growth is going to become greater and greater and greater because now everybody knows this brand. But you are here today and you are already registered. But people in Malaysia, they cannot register yet, right? People in Cambodia, they cannot register yet. So who has the first step? Who has the foot in right now? You do. So you will become the hub. So when you tell individuals around you, it will continue to grow and grow and grow. And that's the vision of Atomy. It's not you working by yourself, but it's other individuals that you can work with to accomplish that passive and residual income that we're speaking about. Next, we're going to talk about following up. Okay. So after you tell them about the product, maybe they purchased one of your skincare products, or after you tell them about the compensation plan, or you tell them whatever it may be, you need to follow up with them, okay? Let's, let's look at the check up here. It says, do not just sell once and forget. A lot of people seem to just sell the product. They just sell the toothpaste. They just sell the skincare. And they don't follow up. They automatically assume that since the product is so good that the consumer will come running back to you. That's not always the case. So what do you need to do? You need to follow up with them and ask them within 48 hours, how was that product? How is it going? Are there any questions that you have? And you want to continue the conversation. Next, don't just tell once and assume. Sometimes people are not willing to say that they don't know. They don't want to sound like they don't understand. So they'll say, yes, yes, I understand. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they don't want to ask you. So what is it that you have to do? You have to break it down for them and you have to explain it again and again and again. So they really understand what it is that you are talking about. Because at first they won't admit it. They'll say, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just like everything else, right? But that's not true, right? And lastly, don't just think that they know everything just because they say that they know everything and continue to help them within the system. Okay? Next slide. Now, let's say that you've done everything. Okay? You've educated yourself. You know a lot about the company. You know a lot about the products. You know everything that you need to know about Atomy, and you've been sharing the vision with everybody. Okay. You've been inviting individuals to come. And now, where are you? You are probably a leader now. You are probably a sales master, or you're probably in a position where you are a sponsor. You have sponsored somebody, right? There are other partners under you. So you're going to have to consult with them. You're going to have to counsel them. And these are some of the basic questions or problems that you are going to face. So the first one, what does it say? It says that I don't know many people. Right? You tell them about all this and we're creating a list and you, you tell them 
Oh, you can do it. But then they come back to you a few days later and they call you and they say, oh, I don't know anybody. I don't know who I should tell. So what is it that you need to do then? That means that they don't know how to create their prospect list yet. They're just assuming in their head they don't know anybody. So what do you do? You invite them again and you sit down with them and you want to go through their cell phone okay, and write down all the names that they know. And then we're going to start inviting them. Okay? And we're going to start sharing with them what that person has experienced. And what happens after that? You get another individual after they use the product, they will also be willing to share their network with you because the product is of value. That's the power of Atomy. That's the power of creating your list. So your, your list continues to grow. So that one person you contacted, that person also has a list, right? So let's say that my list was 50 people, but individual let's say Sam Sam's list is a hundred people so how big has my list become now a hundred and fifty because we have a limited growth so after we continue to share the vision it is impossible for you to run out of people if you're doing this system the right way it is impossible for you to run out of people to speak to so number one the problem that we have I don't know many people is that going to become a problem no, after you counsel them and you speak to them about what it is that you can help them do, creating that list, they should feel what? Empowered. The second one we want to speak about is, I have registered many, but I don't have any revenue. So you have a lot of empty houses. You have 20, 30 people on your leg, but there is zero purchases. So what does that mean? This person is probably very charismatic. They're probably very good at persuading individuals and inviting them to join the company. But they're probably not a user themselves. They don't have that product, Atomy and the product trust. They haven't experienced the product well enough where they're speaking to their partners about the product. They're only speaking about the vision. They're speaking to them about, wow, can you imagine living this kind of life? Can you imagine this, this, and this? But they're not speaking about what? The product. So they have lots of people register, but they don't have any actual revenue. So you need to sit down with that person and you need to analyze and see how they recruit individuals around them. So how do you approach your friends? How do you approach your consumers? What do you say to them? What are your main points when you contact them? And usually there will be somebody who is, who are speaking about the compensation plan, marketing plan, and the vision and leaving out the products. The third point will be the opposite of that, right? I have trouble registering people, but Everybody wants to buy the product from them. Oh, I don't want to register, right? I'll just buy it from you. That's what they say. So this person is lacking the ability to what? To implant the vision inside of this individual. They need to work on why it is important for them to register. What it means, if you register now and you have another person register under you, that means that you become the upline and you benefit from all the purchases being made from now until forever. So if you explain these things, then they will be willing to what? Register. But usually individuals who have trouble registering individuals are people who don't know how to explain the benefits of becoming a member. In order for your business to build, you have to have auto consumers. What does that word mean to you? A auto consumer. Automatic consumption. In order for automatic consumption to take place, they have to be willing 
to make purchases on their own. That is residual income. But let's say that they are only making purchases through you. Is that auto consumption? Let's say that you go away. You're, you're on vacation. Well, are the individuals that you used to sell to, are they going to be able to buy the products from you? No, you're gone. So what's happening now? Your business is going down because you have left. So that is not the system that we want to build. Okay. We want to encourage individuals to register and become auto sales masters or auto consumers. And we want to teach them each step of the way. And we want to educate them to show them why it is necessary for them to do exactly that. Okay. And the next point that we have, I have many registered people, but it's become stagnant. Okay. So let's say that you are a sales master. Okay. You've achieved sales master, but your group is not growing anymore. Then you have to look back at yourself and think, how am I doing this business? Am I limiting myself by the words that I am saying? For example, if I only believe that you could atomy, that you can become successful in atomy if you do it full time, then who am I going to be looking for? Individuals who can do atomy only full time. So what's going to happen? You're going to run out of individuals who can do this business full time. So your business will grow, but then you'll hit a wall and it'll become stagnant because you're limiting yourself and you're only recruiting or letting individuals who follow your personal viewpoints register. And that's not what we want. We want everybody. We want individuals who can do this part time, full time, or just consume one item, two items, 10 items. It doesn't matter. We want to be able to become a chameleon and cater and understand, become wise and cater to each individual around us. Okay. And then the next one that we have is number five and six. Okay. We don't want to make the same mistakes again. Okay. So what we want to do is encourage our partners to ask questions before they take action. Let's say that I've done this business for one year. So that means that your year experience is going to be greater than the person who just now started. So you don't want them to make the same mistakes. Maybe they think that it's important for them to only recruit individuals who want to do this as a business. But let's say that you've already experienced that. You've already talked to other individuals and you understand that that is not the way to go. But since this person did not ask, what are they doing? They're just assuming that what they're doing is going in the right direction. But in the end, it's a waste of, it becomes a waste of time for them, right? So we want to encourage everybody to ask questions. Okay. Don't assume that, you know, even registering somebody, Oh, let me just register this person on my a leg or on my B leg. But if you have a sponsor who is in the Atomy system and understands, consult with them. They want you to do well, right? They'll never tell you something that's going to become harmful to you if they really care about you. Because your growth is whose growth? Is their growth. So they want to encourage you and they'll probably counsel you to make the right decisions. Oh, let's look at your A leg. Let's look at your right leg. Let's see how everything's going. And then they'll see where it is that you should register that individual. So it's very important for you to counsel them and to lead them to get to that point. Let's go to the next slide is duplicate and repeat. Okay. What you want to be able to do is duplicate yourself. But what kind of seed do you want to be? Look at the very bottom. It says a tree can only be as good as the seed it came from. How do you want your partners to, be, to become duplicated, right? How do you want them to act? How do you want them to build the business? It all depends on how you teach them. If you think that the Atomy system is very important,
then are you going to tell your partners to come to the system or not to come to the system? You're going to tell them to come to the system. And what are they going to do then? They're going to absorb that and then they're going to say exactly what you told them to whose partner? Their partner. So you want to build a healthy tree. You want to become a healthy tree. You want to be able to do everything the leaders and Atomy, the company itself, is lecturing. You want to go that route. Because sooner or later, what's going to happen is your group will become so large, if you don't participate in the system, you won't be able to manage your team. If you are making $50,000 a month and you are a leader in Atomy, how will you act? Because how you act now will be what will be duplicated later on down the road. So it's extremely important for us to do steps one to seven in a healthy way, in a healthy fashion. Because if we don't do that, we're going to create bad fruit. Why? Because they weren't in the system. They don't understand that Atomy is a business that you do with your partners, not with just your sponsor. CEO Park says it this way. He says that your sponsor is not the one who brings you to success. When we start and create that list, what did I say? If you had a list of 50 and your partner has a list of 100, do you need help from somebody else? You should be so busy meeting the people in your personal group that you don't need anybody else. So when you come to the system, your tree starts to grow and gets rooted very deep and in a healthy way and you produce good fruit. Do you want your partners to be bad fruit or good fruit? Good fruit. So you have to think about it this way. Imagine the best partner in the world. Who's the best partner in the world? What kind of partner is the best? Somebody who what? Attends all the seminars? Who sells products really well? Who registers a hundred people? Right? Those are the kinds of partners that you want, right? You want a partner who listens and who works with you. So you think about all the great things that you want your partners to be. And then what do you do? You first become that person. Because when you become the partner that you want, your partners will mimic and replicate you. But if you're only speaking and saying, you need to do this, you need to do this, but your actions are not speaking, then will they follow you? No. They'll start to get bitter. So it's always about how I conduct myself. It's always about how I do my business. That's when our partners will listen. And then that's when they'll start to follow us, when they see that you're going the right way. I've been doing this business for two and a half years now, right? And I've come into a lot of different situations. But what I can encourage you is be positive about each circumstance that you encounter. Don't prejudge it. Don't think, oh, this was a negative day today. Always think positive because there's always growth that's happening within yourself. Because of the different encounters that you have, you're growing, right? And then if you add that to your business and you continue forward, then what happens? You become one step closer to your goals to your visions that you have. So in Atomy, the eight steps to success brings you a step closer to what? Auto sales master. That's what you want to become. It took me nine months to become an auto sales master. That may be fast for some people or that may be slow for some individuals. But does it matter? It doesn't matter because we have a ceiling. There is a certain amount of money that we can make. So even if you're fast or slow, it's inevitable that maybe in three years, 
five years, ten years, that we will all reach the top and we'll be waiting for each other there. So don't worry about what John's doing over there or what Sam's doing over there. Go at your pace, but within the Atomy system. Follow these eight steps to success. Build auto-consumers. Share your experience and your vision with everybody around you. And I promise you that you will be able to become an auto sales master. And once you become an auto sales master, your income will start to grow exponentially. And you'll be able to see growth. And then you'll be able to see change in your life. And that balanced life will become reality. So don't give up, okay? Continue to move forward and believe and think positively. And do everything that you can to build a balanced life, not for just yourself, but for the loved ones around you. Okay? All right, thank you very much.